folks, Ryan Barker, Air Force Marine. I want to take just a minute to show you this boat that came in yesterday. Uh, this is the new Puma STS Mascat. Uh, our last STS didn't last but a day or so. You know, that's kind of been the norm this year with STS. It's uh, been one of the hottest boats that's taken the market, you know, in a long, long time. Uh, so we just want to take a minute to show you this boat, give you a walkthrough on this boat. Uh, for those of you that didn't, maybe didn't get to see the last video we did on the other boat, and then we're going to show you a few differences in this boat and a cougar. We've got a cougar sitting right over here beside us. So uh, we're going to show you just a little bit of the differences, some of the changes that were made. Uh, since both boats are here side by side, it makes it pretty easy to show you. Um, yeah. This boat, this is a wider boat, wider bodied boat uh, for Bass Cat than what they've done in the past. Uh, boat was widened up a good bit. Uh, latches were changed. Uh, a few other things changed. Splash well change. Um, this boat, it's not going to run as fast as some of the other boats in the past have, but this boat rides phenomenal. Um, this boat, the ride is just, I mean, everybody, you know, if you if you're thinking about doing anything, you really owe yourself to try to check this boat out and ride in this boat. Um, the ride is just, it's, it's unbelievable how well this boat rides. Uh, you know, loaded two people with a 250 motor, it's a 75 mile an hour boat. Um, you know, life, you're going to see high 70s out of it. Uh, but it's just, it's, the performance is unbelievable. Um, so what I'm going to do first, uh, I'm going to pull a measurement right off the rear seat base, just so we can kind of show you a little bit of how, how much wider this boat is compared to the other boats in the past. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go inside to inside, straight across the rear seat base from fiberglass to fiberglass, we're at 69 inches. So 69 inches fiberglass to fiberglass across the rear seat base. Now we're gonna walk right over here and we're gonna come to this cougar. We're going to check the cougar on the rear seat base as well. Put that on your uh, seat on the rear seat base, fiberglass to fiberglass, you're at 59 inches. Here's your 59 inch mark right here. That's a big difference. That's 10 inches. So that's 5 inches each way. So that shows you a little bit about how much wider the STS is versus the Cougar. Lengthwise, the STS is gonna be a little bit longer. Um, you know, for all you old Bass Cat guys, you know, in the past, the Puma and the Cougar were the same boat, same hull, uh, same everything, just different deck layout. Um, but now the Puma is completely different than, than the Cougar. So the boats are gonna set themselves apart. Uh, for the guy who wants a boat that's a little bit more nimble, um, maybe a little bit faster, um, you know, the Cougar's still going to fit that bill, um, but the guy that wants one that's going to really, really ride, boat ride well, this is going to be the boat for him. So, um, but yeah, we're going to show y'all that measurement. That really tells you how much wider this boat is. Uh, then we're going to bring you back here to the back. We're going to show you a few things back here. As you can see here, some of the changes on the rear. The splash well was a change. Uh, the, the tail lights on the rear, that was a pretty neat thing. Uh, that was something they started with the Jag and the Lynx, uh, you know, last year. Uh, so when your nav lights are on, you're gonna be able to see, people can see you from the rear, other than just your nav light, they'll see those lights on the rear too. Uh, the STS model is carrying two 30 gallon fuel tanks, so 60 gallons of fuel. Uh, it's a lot of fuel in the bass boat world. I mean, that's, that's a lot of fuel to get you a long, long ways. Um, they put some storage in on the sides, uh, places to put your toolboxes, stuff like that, for those of you that carry a lot of tools. Um, so that was pretty, that was a pretty neat deal. We've shown you before, but the new latch system, the way the new latch system works, it's more of a push button style latch and then lift up. Um, you know, carpeted all boxes on the rear. Uh, this flip up on the rear was an addition on this boat. That allows you to get inside and get in here to your power pole pumps, your live well screens, anything you need to get to in there, you can get to it. It makes working on a boat very, very simple. Uh, it's very thought out, you know, as, as, they, as they like to say, you know, boats built by fishermen for fishermen. So that makes it, makes it pretty nice. Still got all your storage under the seat, which is something else that Bass Cat's always been known for, storage under the seats. 
their fuel tanks being in the rear, they allow you to get the storage under the seat. So that's something that's, you know, gives us all somewhere else to put, you know, put more stuff. As far as the layout on the front of this boat, um, this boat's still laid out like the Puma that you're accustomed to. Uh, so you got dual rod boxes on each side. Uh, you got one big tackle storage here in the middle. Two tackle storages plus the net scabbard in the center. Uh, so a lot of a lot of guys run the Puma because they really like that net scabbard. Uh, it gets your net out of the way. It allows you to get it somewhere and get it. You're not walking over it, stepping over it. Uh, makes it pretty neat. This particular model here. We equipped it a little bit different. We did this boat as a Garmin boat, which if somebody's interested in this boat and they want to change it out to a Hummingbird Lowrance or whatever, uh, we can do that. Um, this boat is equipped with two 10-inch Garmin's 106s and uh, it is equipped with a Garmin Force trolling motor. Um, we did add the keel guard to this model. Um, the spare hub, uh, the grab post on the trailer, um, all their premium model boats are coming with the parking brake, parking brake added to it. This model here we did a stalker wheel upgrade on, so it's got a 15 inch stalker wheel upgrade. Dual 8 foot power poles, um, very well equipped, 250 Pro XS, um, again, the STS boat is not, I mean, as soon as one gets anywhere in the country, any dealer gets one, their boat's sold right off the bat. So uh, anybody that's interested in this boat, y'all come down and see us. Um, you know, we still have a few other boats in stock as well in the Bass Cat line. Um, so y'all come down, check us out. Uh, we'd love to show you around. Um, again, my name's Ryan Barker, Airport Marine. Uh, Airportmarine.com or give me a call, 205-605-7543. Uh, come down and check it out. Glad to help you out.